Hey designers, what's going on? My name is Fanny B and I'm a senior product designer in Toronto. Today, my friends, actually my designers, we are going to talk about the elephant in the room. Well, actually for me, because I'm not really a Figma designer. I do not do any UI design on Figma at all, and I've never done it in my life, so I thought, why don't I try it today in this video and do a comparison, Figma versus Adobe XD. Uh, I know there's a lot of Figma fanboys out there, so don't hate on me yet, please. Don't hate on me yet. Actually, don't even hate on me at all. The only part of Figma that I've used in the past was to apply my feedback on the designers that are in my discord channel by the way if you want to enhance your design experience go ahead and follow or right, actually join our discord channel we have a weekly ui design challenge where you can enhance your, your design and i will give you my feedback so anyways having said all that i yeah that's the only time i use figma so let's try this baby out. So I am going to use this uh, Adobe Plus or Adobe, not Adobe, oh my god, Apple TV Plus UI style and use Crunchyroll's content because I love anime. Let's go to Philema. Okay, I'm already logged in. By the way, these are the some of the feedbacks that I've given in the past. So let's go and I never did a UI exercise here at all. So it'll give me some whiteboard diagram and uh, design prototype. Oh, wait, I just saw it. New project, upgrade, no thank you. Design file, I think this is it. Okay, there we go. All right, so step number one, completed. Ah, I see, I got my tools on the top. All right, XD has it on the on the left side. I kind of prefer it to be on the left side because I'm used to that way. Let's rename this to, oops, roll. What, what is this, move project? I don't understand. Can, can I not name this? FIR, first time. There we go. Where's the save to? Okay, I need to figure out where I've saved this to. Anyways, I can share my profile. Colors are here. Prototype is right here, which is pretty smooth. Okay, let's just ignore this prototype stuff for a second. Assets. Ah. Tuna salsa. I think we got the Figma logo here. Okay. File. Edit, I want some shortcut tools. Color picker is I, okay. I really hope the text type eventually shows up on the right hand side, size, no side. Uh, page one, oh, okay, so you can make more pages here. Now, how do I make, dude, like, what? So it doesn't automatically, so it doesn't automatically give me a desktop size? Do I have to make that up right now? No way. Is there a way I can automatically click on this and it will give me a desktop view? Is this actually an object or what? A prototype needs to have at least what? At least one frame. Where's my frame? I thought this was my frame. Oh, there we go. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. So it's called a frame. Why didn't it just name it artboard? Jesus Christ. So this whole, whole time I did it wrong. I, but, okay. Anyway, space bar and move. Click on, where's the frame? And give me, uh, what size do I want? Desktop, there, there we go. Oh shoot. Oh, okay, never mind. This is not an app, that's why. Okay, now I got it. Okay, so wait, I don't even need this now. This is called main page. There we go. Whew, okay, so far we, <laughs> so, oh, oops. You know what, this is bothering me right now. Let's just download the app for a second. Download fake with the mods. So, um, yeah, round two, fight. Well, obviously this is the app right now. Want to add more editors? Okay, no man, I still wanna design. Hey, inspect, what the? This is like a Zeppelin or Zeppelin in um, Figma. It provides you the CSS code, that's awesome. That's like plus 10 points Figma. Very, very well done. Okay, uh, what was I saying? So let's take, uh, oh boy, I don't even know how I'm gonna do this drop shadow here. But let's see what we can do. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this layer here and I'm going to make a big giant one, maybe half the width. 
It doesn't tell you what's above the fold though. Which, okay. Alright, that's good. Uh, like, sure, we can keep it like that. How do I duplicate? Is it the same thing as XD? Yes, it is. Perfect. All right, all right, all right. Not that bad. Spacebar, drag and move. Okay, I will get used to it. I'm sorry, I take that back. If you know what I'm saying. Okay, so we can take this, drop this dude at the top and minimize it because this will be the nap with the gate with the shins. Now I wanna get, s ooh, how do I import pictures now? Okay, so now I'm gonna get some Dragon Ball Z Sama. This, my friend, is if you don't know, now you know. This magic works. Okay, okay. All right, I'll give you that. So when I press Control One, it goes back to this recently viewed. I don't like that. When I press Control One, I want to wait a second. Now what happens? Yeah. See, when I press Control One, I want to go back to 100%. Anyways, let's, oh yeah, I can't zoom like that. Can I? Oh, okay, I have to press and hold. And then I have to right click, oh my God, to make it go 100, all right, cool. And then this guy can, okay, now how do I center it? Okay, same as XD, great, I love that with the little bit of Uh Let's make this black so we know the navigation, oh, if you know what I'm saying, we'll go right here. Now we can select, oh yeah, press I, right? There we go. Apple Plus has, <sighs> all right guys, wish me luck in this part. Wish me luck right now. I'm going to try to do this black gradient in the world of, uh, you guessed it. Control L, please be locked, man, please be locked. Control L, nope, nope. How do I lock this? I like the shortcuts on the right hand side. Uh, group selection, flatten, no, 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 no. Lock. Control Shift L. Okay, just so you know, you have to hold like one, two, and then like, I need two hands. I need three fingers to make, to, to lock this. I don't like that. XD, you can just press Control L and it is what you call locked. And I can't even select the object either once it's locked. How do I do this? I go here, solid. Yes, please, 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 please. Yes. All right, Figma, that was easy. That was easy. And then, oh, there we go. Oh, wow. You can actually properly adjust the line. Yo, respect. Figma, respect. Knock, knock, who's there, Fig? Fig who? Figma. Cool, cool. All right, round 5,000, let's go. All right, I am just gonna quickly go and take that, put it right here. Nobody's gonna know, they're gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. Uh, okay, what happens if I hold shift? All right, not bad, not bad. Um, boom, and then, how do I go back to shift zero? Oh. That's gonna take some time to get, get used to. That's by default, I've been pressing Control one or Command one for you guys. All my life, dog, all my life. Hopefully the right, here we go, line. Listen, knock, knock, dog. Ha, <laughs> Yo, who is your favorite Dragon Ball Z character? Let me know in the comment B with the lows. Don't tell me have, oh my God, I have to manually do it like this, bro? You serious right now? Jeez. You know how many times I resize images when I'm designing? This is literally a big minus 10 points. Oh, zero. There we go. Let's say SIGN, sign in. Yep, we can definitely do this white, cool, got that. Now, okay, Roboto, sure. Uh, 15, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Control Shift K to place image. I really don't like the fact you have to use like freaking three fingers just to do these shortcuts. I'm not a big fan of that, yeah? My God, so far so good, let's do that. 
and now I'm going to zoom in. I don't like holding the Z when I'm like zooming in and out. Now let's try adding an SVG. SVG to Icon Master. You guys know this already. If you not, well, what to do, huh? Use a. Okay, let's shrink this dude a little bit more. Control I. Nice. Huh? Nice. What? That was so lame. I selected the object, I pressed I to get the color white, but no, I had to go all the way to the selection colors and then change the color. Okay. How to increase your product, um, your design timeline and not deliver on time. Use Figma. See, when I press T, I wanna see this cursor, which is a plus sign. I would like it to be T. So I know it's a text, right? Good. Now we're gonna do a call to action. So let's just select this thing, just do it right here. And make it a little bit bigger like that. Okay, group, awesome. And we're just gonna bring a little bit higher here. <sighs> okay, okay. You know what? I'm getting used to this. I, my friend, I'm getting used to this. You know what? Let's just take the Dragon Ball Super logo. I know Majin Vegeta is not in Dragon Ball Super Sama. But let's just, for fun. Okay, now can I see this in the prototype view? Uh, I don't care about this dude. I would like to see my prototype with a small air. Do I have to pay for this? I really like that. Press play. It's loading. Okay, and this is my design, I think. Doesn't seem like this is the right size. I like when you open the app, it goes back to the current uh, file that you're working for, which is, which is, which is sweet, which is sweet. The thing is, the prototype is blurry. This image is blurry. How do I? Rolling, no. Flow. What is this? Presentation, yeah, that's what I selected as. Select frame, okay. Anyways, copy that. Go to the browser, select here, control V. Oh, there we go, now it's so much better. This is exactly what I wanted to show. Perfect. Awesome. Well, there you have it. I'm obviously not, not going to spend hours and hours doing a complete full design of it, of this exercise, but I just wanted to see what's the height about i'm not going to spend you know designing the entire uh, main page because that's going to take a lot of hours especially using figma because i haven't used it before but overall i'll definitely give it a big thumbs up using uh, figma there are a few things that i do in adobe xd which obviously i'm used to it like the whole control one is 100 percent view and then for figma is control zero i feel like it's little tweaks like that if i can uh, learn how to use it, I will definitely also start like, well, using Figma as well. What was hard for me was definitely creating an artboard. I didn't even know, you know, where to begin. And I also had a hard time creating a new file. Figma seems to roll out better updates, like features that can help uh, UI designers a lot in terms of performing better in the design point of view. And XDs is a little bit slow. So I feel like this is, an example of apple and oranges and uh, yeah I, I would definitely recommend figma i mean it was my first time honestly trying this this was an honest review i feel like if i keep obviously use figma in a, in a daily basis and apply my ui designs in figma i think i can do a lot better than what i did today aside from that uh, thank you so much for watching today's video and a lot of more new content are actually on its way i'm sort of redesigning the structure of this channel because creating tutorial videos and stuff is getting a little bit boring for me so i'm figuring out something else that can re-spark for me to create more content in my youtube channel if you guys have any ideas please feel free to comment below if you have not already please subscribe and if you liked this video uh give it a big thumbs up until then i'll see you guys in my next video peace out